Hi, this is the text part of my SyslogNG tutorial. Last time we learned about SyslogNG filters. Today we learn about uh, message parsing using SyslogNG. Parsing creates name value pairs from uh, log messages using parsers. Uh, it is probably the best. Uh, it is probably the most interesting, but also the most complex part of SyslogNG. By default, SyslogNG tries to parse all incoming log messages as if they were formatted according to RFC 3164 or the old uh, SyslogNG specification. This creates a number of macros, including message, which contains the actual log message. You can then use parser to fur further parse the content of the message macro. It does not stop here. You can parse the content of the uh, resulting macros as well. This way, you can create complex parsers and change that extract useful information from log messages. When uh, we learned about uh, sources, I mentioned the no parse flag. This way, RSV uh, 3164 parsing is disabled and you can parse the whole message. This is useful for JSON or CSV formatted log messages. <coughs> Why is message, message parsing important? There are two uh, main use cases. Having log messages available as name value pairs allows you to uh, uh, a lot more uh, pre precise filtering. For example, you can create alerts within SyslogNG for a specific username uh, in login messages. It is also possible to save or forward only relevant data from a longer log message, saving significant amount of storage or network traffic. The pattern DB message parser can extract information from unstructured messages into name value pairs. Not just that, uh, as it can also add status fields to log messages based on message text and do message classification just like log check. Of course, SyslogNG does not know what is inside the log messages by itself. It needs an XML database describing log messages. There are some sample XML databases available online but mostly you are on your own uh, creating these databases for your logs. For example, in case of an SSH login failure, it can be described as parsed uh, the application is equals SSHD, user equals root, and the source IP. And then the parser can add that it's, uh, a it's a, a login action and the status is failure. Finally, it can classify the uh, log message as a violation. The JSON parser turns JSON based log messages into name value pairs. Yes, JSON is a structured log format. However, all incoming log messages are treated by SyslogNG as plain text. You have to instruct SyslogNG to use a parser and turn the message into name value pairs. The CSV parser can parse columnar data into uh, name value pairs. A typical example is the Apache access log file, even if the fields are not uh, separated by commas. In this example, you can see that each column has a name. Later, one of the resulting name value pairs, the name of the authenticated user, is used in a file name. The key value parser can find key value pairs in log messages. It was introduced in SyslogNG 3.7. This format is typical for firewall logs, but also used by many other applications. Here are some example log messages from IP tables. There are several other parsers uh, in SyslogNG. Uh, the XML parser can parse XML formatted log messages typically used by Windows applications. There is a dedicated parser for uh, Linux audit logs. There are uh, also many non-standard date formats. The date parser can help in this case, which can be configured using templates. It saves the date uh, to the sender date. As mentioned earlier, the SyslogNG configuration library has many parsers. 
These are implemented as co uh, uh, in configuration, combining several of the existing parsers. The Apache parser uh, can parse Apache access logs. It builds on the CSV parser, but also combines it with the date parser and rewrites part of the results to be more human readable. The sudo parser can extract information from uh, sudo log messages, so it's easy to alert on log, me log messages if something nasty happens. Log messages from Cisco devices are similar to Cisco messages, however, quite often they cannot be parsed by Cisco parsers as they do not comply with uh, the specifications. The Cisco parser the Cisco parser of Cisco NG can parse many kinds of uh, Cisco log messages. Of course, not all Cisco, Cisco log messages, uh, only those for which we received log samples. The Python parser was first released in Cisco NG 3.10. It can parse complex data formats, where simply combining various built in parsers is not enough. It can also be used to enrich log messages from external data sources like SQL, DNS, or WHOIS. The main drawback of the Python parser is speed and resource usage. C is a lot more efficient. However, for the vast majority of, the, of users, this is not a bottleneck. Python also has the advantage that it does not need a compilation or a dedicated development environment. For the very same reasons, the Python scripts are also easier to spread among users than native C. As mentioned earlier, the SyslogNG configuration library contains a number of parsers. These are also called application adapters. There is a growing uh, list of parsers. Using these, you can easily parse log messages automatically without any additional configuration. This is possible because application adapters are enabled for the system source since SyslogNG version 3.13. The enterprise-wide message model allows forwarding name value pairs between SyslogNG instances. It is made possible by using JSON formatting. It can also forward the original raw message. It is important as by default SyslogNG does not send the original message but what it can reconstruct uh, from it using templates. The original, often broken formatting is lost. However, uh, some log analytics uh, software expects to receive the broken message format instead of the standards compliant one. You might have seen this uh, example configuration a few times before if you followed my tutorial series. This is a good example for application adapters. You do not see any parser uh, dec dec declarations in the configuration, but you can see working with the results of message parsing. In this case, name value pairs are parsed from sudo log messages. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on YouTube or reach out to me on Twitter or Mastodon.